This video is a response to my friend Helen from the UK. She made a video recently called Just My Luck. In that video, Helen talked about good luck, bad luck, good things happening to bad people, etc, etc, etc. And basically, if I understand this correctly, her gist of the video was that when you strive for something, you can make good things happen, and then bad stuff is just sometimes just bad luck. I submit that there are no good or bad things, only good and bad responses to things. Now, this is not in any way an original idea. In fact, I got it from a bunch of different people, one of which is the current Dalai Lama, another of which being this radical group called the Stoics, who've been saying it for a couple of hundred years. I've adopted it as my own philosophy just because basically it makes a lot of sense. Things happen. Regardless of whether they're good or bad, things happen. To me, it's not really the things that happen to us, but rather our responses to those things. So say I won a million dollars and I responded by saying, F this sucks. Yeah, winning a million dollars would kind of suck. Or if I said, hey, I just got pregnant unexpectedly, that's really a bad thing then yeah, it would really be a bad thing. But the fact of the matter is, those things are just things. They happen to us. I can't control them, you can't control them, no one, they're completely out of my control. The one thing that is in my control is how I respond to those things. Now that makes it sound like I'm saying that there are no evil and bad things that happen in the world and we should just be all happy and choose to be happy all the time, and that's not exactly true. For instance, I think it's pretty universally understood that something like the Holocaust is a bad thing. But it took us as a community of human people to come together and say, that thing, that thing was bad. I think that's part of what's so great about being part of a human community is that when shit happens, we can come together and respond as a community rather than as an individual. Because sometimes shit just sucks and it's hard to get out of it yourself. Because sometimes it's hard to make that choice that I talked about earlier of just saying, you know what, it's just a thing. It's not good or bad. Sometimes we need our friends to remind us. Sometimes those friends are obnoxious, though. I fully admit to being one of those obnoxious friends. However, I do find the idea that John Green put forth in his Esther video very, very profound and fitting that sometimes you just can't do anything. You gotta stand there. We have to bear witness to the things that suck in the world. The Bible talks about mourning with those who are mourning, laughing with those who are laughing, and I think that's a really, really profound idea. Profound even without all the spiritual God baggage of the Bible. I think it's just a good human idea. There are times where we really can't do anything about what's happening to our friends and our friends' responses, no matter how much we want to beat it out of them and tell them, shut the fuck up about your depressing thing, it's not that bad to them it is a bad thing. In the comment section of Helen's video, there was a lot of talk about fate and destiny and good things happening for a reason and bad things happening for a reason, etc, etc, etc. I'm not sure how much I dig on the idea of destiny and fate, but I do think that things happen and we give them meaning and we give them a reason. I think it's hard sometimes to give those things reason and understand the long-term effects of the things that are happening to us today, but ultimately, everything shapes you. Every single person you see, every time you walk down the street, every glance, every unkind word, every kind word, they all shape you in a, in a way that's pretty significant. So what that means is don't be the person that makes someone else make a decision to be happy despite the circumstances. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense at first glance, but I think it makes sense in my head at least. Basically it boils down to just don't be a dick. And if you're in a situation right now that kind of sucks and you're feeling kind of down and all that, just take a step back, just, just one night, just step back and look at it from a more objective, less emotionally wrought perspective and perhaps it won't be so bad maybe it is bad and and that's fine you know there are times like I said to to mourn and and be sad and do all that but I think sometimes just a little perspective helps us God, I hope this video made sense it's tough